Hi, I'm Max Orlandi. Welcome to Yummy Israel. So today I'm gonna make a biscuit cake. It doesn't need to be big. And you know what's amazing about this cake? It not only looks delicious, it's delicious. It's like something that I cannot say no to. It doesn't need to be big. It's oven free, yes. As I just said, it's oven free. You don't need to bake it. In case you're not convinced about making the recipe yet, did I mention that it's layered with vanilla pudding and topped with chocolate? Yeah, you're welcome. Let's jump to the recipe. Okay, so now let's start with this recipe. As I said, you won't need to use an oven. So here I have an, in my mixing bowl, I have whipping cream, okay? And here I have my mixer. <laughs> so I'm gonna add to the whipping cream, I'm gonna add the milk. Don't stress out about the quantities, you'll see them on the description below. So I'm adding the milk, I'm adding the vanilla pudding. Oh my God, this smells delicious. Like it reminds me of my childhood, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. We're gonna start mixing it a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so I had to change the bowl because I was spitting everywhere. <laughs> I got this one that's higher, so I'm not gonna spit. And last but not least, I'm gonna add the sugar. And now I'm done whipping this ingredient. I know I can't sing, but I just try. I'm gonna add the Greek yogurt. I'm gonna put it by hand so as not deflate the whipping, okay? Yummers, it smells so good. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna fold in the Greek yogurt with our preparation. Don't mix it too hard, because if not, you will deflate. Ah! <laughs> Delicious. So we are blending the yellow with the white and we are getting a lighter yellow, okay? So blend it slowly. So now let's start making the cake. I love doing this cake because you can do it with your entire family. You can hang out with your kids, with your friends while you're doing it and it's a great moment to have fun. As I always say, that's the most important thing that I try to do when I'm cooking, okay? So let's go! The first thing that we need to do is coffee. I know it could get really hard to make coffee. <laughs> so now I just made the coffee. Why? Because we're gonna dip each cookie at a time and then place it on our bowl. Normally, people would do it on rectangular bowls but mine is circular because I wanted to be creative. As I told you, always try to be creative. So I'm gonna grab the biscuits. It says one at a time, I'm a bit anxious. We have two types of biscuits. One are chocolates and the other one are vanilla. I'm gonna put chocolate on the bottom and vanilla on top. Here, a whole cookie won't fit. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna place a, a cut piece of cookie, okay? And the same thing I'm gonna do here and over here and over here. Just think about it like the cookies would replace a dough. So now, after the base is done, I'm gonna add the pudding mixture, okay? So we're gonna put it evenly. It's very thick, so you gotta make sure you're not gonna move the cookies around, okay? So what I would recommend is that like placing each scoop and then mixing and adjusting all the scoops, see? Now what I'm gonna do after I, I put a few scoops, I'm gonna even it out, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna proceed with the next layer. Same, same exact steps, okay? Let's go. Now that it's done, we're gonna take it to the freezer for two hours, okay? Let's go. Okay, so now I'm gonna start making the chocolate frosting. So let's go. So here I have some chocolate, just like chopped chocolate. And now I'm gonna add some warm whipped cream. Don't warm it too much because it may break, okay? After you're done mixing it, you're gonna let it sit for two minutes. I'm gonna go to the freezer now because two hours have passed. Yummers! So I just got it out of the freezer and I'm ready to top it. Yes! So now to finish it, I'm gonna add the chocolate to top this amazing no oven cake. <laughs> okay? Oh my God. Okay, so now after I finished topping it with chocolate, yummers, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it in the fridge for two hours and let it sit there and then it's gonna be ready to serve. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. You'll see a red button below that says subscribe and hit the bell. So YouTube will be able to let you know every time we have a new video. If you have any questions, do not forget to comment below. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next video.